Well, my name is Nani Marie Sanchez, and this is my show. It's called Self Advocates to Be Empowered. Um, this is my baby, and my show. I have a lot of guests in my show. When when I heard I lost my show because I made baby dead, I felt sad. He's supposed to be my friend, but no more. It hurts me to see that because because Stephen A is my friend and I know why they they want to crucify Steve, and it hurts my heart, you know. And I I don't want to lose my show because I, because I'm, I'm a great fighter, and I I'm a woman, and nobody don't understand me, and I want people to understand me. I'm a person. And I have needs too. What about you? Are the city of fair souls? Um, people with disabilities need, need to hear our voices. Nothing about us without us. That's our motto. And, 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 and matter of fact that that I was crucified because I'm not so, because because I'm I'm independent. Um, me and my my co-host Melanie Martinez had a show. Um, I have my show since eight years, and the only two with people with disabilities is in Chicago, and New Mexico. When my show was dark, I don't have my show anymore. And I had to tell all my guests that I don't have my show. And it's pretty hard on me. It shattered my dream. And I want my show back. Unquote, unquote. Please see the consulates. Please give, unquote, unquote their contract back. We want our contract and we want to win. <laughs> and with Rick Mets, let's work, bud. You off the, the, the loop here because there's no way for you to discrimination against me and other people like me. Nani represents a whole bunch of producers whose voices were completely silenced by city council. Nani, if you can give Steve some questions and see if he can sort of update us on what's going on with quote unquote. And um, thank you so much. Thank you okay. so much for having me on your show. Okay, my question is, what's going on with Ken Fudge and Rob Perry and Dave Matthews about cable board and why it's not, my, my mom is, is in a loop of the cable board. Well, I can answer some of that, not all of it. Um, okay. like Carolyn Fudge is no longer uh, right. in that position, uh, and she's doing something else for the uh -huh. city. Um, as far as the cable board, um, it's in. I don't. I don't believe it's been. To, it's been. You know, just taken away, but at the same time, it's not operating. So the the administration it appear, appears to just has dropped it without. Telling anybody what's going on, which is a, a bit unprofessional. Um, and uh, in, in terms of um, what "quote unquote" is doing and what's happening uh, with uh, public access, again, you said quite a bit in terms of like what you know is going on in public yeah. access with you public. Uh, what's happening with "quote unquote" is that uh, we're moving ahead. And that's all there is to it. We don't have hardly any money, but we have an awful lot of people who support us. Right. And we're going to continue the fight. And the fight is on a number of different levels. One of it, is, one part of it is um, is, a, is a lawsuit that we have filed against mm -hmm. the city of Albuquerque, and that's moving forward. Um, but beyond that, we've made it our 
goal to simply never be defeated in this whole thing. Right. Uh, what we're doing is we're, well, we're, we're doing programs like this on a shoestring, pretty much. You know, right. we're doing it, um, putting, putting out programming, local programming about things that are really important happening in, the, in, in Albuquerque. Um, and we're not doing it with the equipment and so forth that Rick Metz and them have, but we're doing it. And we're putting out, <laughs> you know, productions that they should be doing, but they're not. Uh, and that's, we want to make a, a point of that, a very definite point of that, that this can be done. And moving forward, we're looking at the possibility of expanding in, in terms of um, collaborations with other organizations. Right now, we've been um, uh, working a lot with the uh, Robert F. Kennedy Charter School. Uh, they've really embraced us. They've done a great job, you know, in terms of like helping us out. If, if they hadn't helped us out, I don't know what would happen when we were literally thrown out into the street, you know, with, with, with no notice, no prior notice back in June of uh, 2012. They found a place for us to put our, mm -hmm. our, our things and everything, and now they're working, working with us to um, bring what we do in terms of training and, 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 and productions of, of, of programming uh, to the kids in their school, the RFK Charter School. And so we're putting together a collaboration with them, and we are looking forward to the possibility of maybe at some point having a uh, moving in to, uh, to a building with them and uh, continuing with, to have a studio. With a with an accessible um, um, accessible, I call it um, for people with disabilities. Yes, it will be, absolutely, absolutely. That's 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 why we're looking at a specific building. We'll see what happens. We've been right. up in Santa Fe. We've been talking to the legislature. We've been talking to the senators, and and we've had a, a pretty good. Um, Did uh, we talk to Senator Jerry Tisipino? Oh yeah, he was about the first person we talked to, <laughs> 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 and um, and so we had a pretty good reception up uh -huh. there. We'll see what happens in the end, but you know we had a lot of people pledged uh, support for what we're doing and what RFK uh, Charter School is doing to try to establish a media uh, center for youth in the South Valley. That's um, great. And uh, that would be a real you know, a breakthrough for a lot of people and give uh, opportunities to a lot of kids who mm -hmm. really need it. Jerry O'Tissi Pina talked to me about what's going on w with you in the station. Mm -hmm. And I talked to him on my yes desk about it too. And he wants to help you. I, 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 I understand that. I know that. Um, and that's the thing that's, that's really helped us, I think, get through this really difficult period because, um, you know, we were, like I said before, we were, we're literally thrown out in the street. Co the contract's taken away. Uh, a lot of the equipment that we uh -huh. had taken away. Uh, and we had to really scramble to survive. And we have survived. And the reason we survive is because there are a lot of people out there in the community yeah. who, who support, quote unquote, specifically as an organization for what we have done over the years, but also re recognize the necess necessity of having an outlet for people in the community to speak. Exactly. To, to, and, and we're it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look around at the, at the media in this city, and this is also nationwide, there aren't very many outlets for people, regular, ordinary folks, you know, to say what they need to say, to get the issues out, uh, to be recognized, um, and to do so without having to spend, you know, a lot of money, without right. having to uh, meet certain requirements. Um, what you had said before in terms of, um, and what La Lara had said in mm -hmm. terms of the taking away of people's rights, right. First Amendment rights, that's exactly what has happened. Um, the city administration has tried to make it look like, oh, it has to do with money or it has to do with, we want a higher quality and so forth, but the reality of it is that uh, there are thousands of television channels across mm -hmm. the United States that have the high, right. you know, uh, 
very pro professional and, and, and lots of money uh, going into the productions and everything, mm -hmm. and it's commercial television, and they have all kinds of commercial ads and so forth, like, you know, all that stuff. Right. Why do we need more? Anybody ask that question? Mm -hmm. No, we need, we need television that also is for the ordinary folks, not the people who are the uh, professionals, mm -hmm. uh, the stars and so forth, but regular people who need to get their word out about what's happening to them. That only happens with public access. Right. And by taking away these, 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 uh, these channels and, and, and inserting a commercial method of doing productions, which what the city has been trying to do and mm -hmm. what the, the public has been trying to do, is not necessary, for one thing. That's, there's, there's, again, thousands of channels like that across the United States. Why do we need one more? Mm -hmm. you know? But we do need these kind of channels that give people a voice and that recognize the First Amendment. Right. And that's what we stand for, and it needs to, to, to continue. Uh -huh.